It is the conclusion of the sad story of Ricky Neve. Denied of his life at the age of six, but no longer denied justice. James Watson lived his life with impunity ever since he murdered him in 1994 until new DNA evidence proved his guilt. 13 then and 41 now. Today he was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum of 15 years. Today's sentencing marks the final chapter in our journey to secure justice for Ricky and his family. It has taken a significant period of time to get to this point, but we made a promise that we would find the person responsible for Ricky's death, and it's a promise that we've kept. Ricky's mother thought he'd gone to school on the day he went missing. At 6 p.m., she phoned police. Go ahead, call the police. Um, my son hasn't come back from school yet. Pardon? I said, I'm report with my son missing. He hasn't been back from school. Right. Well, I haven't seen him since this morning. Ruth Neve was eventually put on trial, acquitted of her son's murder, but later jailed after pleading guilty to charges of cruelty. It would take more than two decades for Watson's DNA evidence to be identified on Ricky's clothes during a cold case review. It was a review which came about thanks to the campaign of Mrs Neve's husband, Gary. I met with them ahead of today's sentencing, but they told me no length of time would ever feel adequate. I'm, I'm still going to feel angry because he's got away with a lot, hasn't he? He's not going to replace the 28 years Ruse had. No. He's not going to replace the 28 years where the public have been told one thing about Rue, which has been a complete lie. All the reputation, your reputation's gone yeah. and everything. Mm. Rue's lost everything. And she's had to put up with that for 28 years. You know, we, he might get half of that. And when you look at it that way, then the system is wrong. The judge today stressed Watson's minimum term in prison reflects he was a child when he killed Ricky, a teenager who extinguished the life of a little boy whose murder is a mystery no more. Julian Drucker, Five News.